The term fast fashion refers to a sizable part of the fashion industry that operates on the principle of producing low-quality apparel at low cost in a short amount of time and in big quantities. Although items with low pricing and those that represent the most recent fashion trends are immensely appealing, particularly to younger buyers, the environmental and social implications of the sector are sometimes ignored. Here are 10 truths about fast fashion that you should be aware of so that you may become a more ethical shopper. Number 1. Each year, 100 billion different articles of clothing are manufactured. That works out to almost 14 pieces for each and every person that lives in the world. It should not come as a surprise, given these staggeringly high numbers, that the worldwide clothing production business is the third largest manufacturing industry in the world, behind only the automobile and technology industries. Number 2. The average individual wears only 20% of their wardrobe 80% of the time. People are naturally drawn to low-priced items, and the modern shopping model, which depends on rapid manufacturing and inexpensive offers, fosters excessive consumption since it capitalizes on this natural attraction. Spending more money on high-quality, long-lasting pieces of clothing that will very soon go out of style is not the best financial decision for individual consumers, because it is simpler and more cost-effective for them to purchase inexpensive items with shorter lifespans. Studies have shown that the majority of individuals wear the same things over and over again, and in most cases, at least 50% of their wardrobe is left untouched, despite the fact that they may own a great quantity of different articles of clothing. Number 3. The target audience for fast fashion retailers is mostly consumers aged 18 to 24. A study conducted in 2016 discovered that brands intentionally target young consumers, who are frequently students with modest incomes. Additionally, the survey discovered that ladies in this age group shop at fast fashion merchants more than any other demographic group does. It should come as no surprise that low prices and current fashion trends are the primary draws for such an audience. In point of fact, according to the authors of the study, younger consumers are typically more ready to forego high quality in exchange for a lower price and a greater choice of options. Number 4. Fast fashion companies pollute more than international aviation and shipping combined. Fast fashion, due to the nature of its business model, is fundamentally one of the most environmentally harmful sectors in the world, and it is contributing to global pollution and climate change in a manner that is astronomically significant. If the industry of fast fashion were a country, its carbon emissions would place it towards the top of the list for the entire continent of Europe. Not only does the act of manufacturing itself contribute to the emissions, but so does the shipping of clothing all over the world and the disposal of old garments once they have served their purpose. Number 5. Materials based on plastic make up 60% of the whole production of clothing. The fast fashion business is responsible for a significant amount of pollution, one of the biggest sources of which is carbon dioxide emissions. Also, clothing is a significant source of microplastics. The majority of today's manufactured apparel is constructed of long-lasting and cost-effective materials like nylon or polyester. It's estimated that around 60% of the things manufactured by fast fashion companies are created with textiles that are based on plastic, which is produced from fossil fuels. These textiles, during their entire life cycles, are making a significant contribution to the catastrophe of plastic pollution that is affecting the entire globe. With each wash and dry, microfilaments are released into the environment, where they travel through our sewage systems and find their way into waterways. According to estimates provided by researchers, these toxins make their way into the ocean on an annual basis at a rate of approximately 500,000 metric tons. Number 6. The annual water usage of the fashion industry is estimated to be approximately 93 billion cubic meters. Water consumption of around 2,000 gallons, that is 7.6 cubic meters, is required for the production of a single pair of standard jeans. When you add up all the jeans and other articles of clothing that are manufactured each year, the industry as a whole consumes an enormous quantity of water. Nonetheless, this is not the only problem that environmentalists are concerned about. A significant portion of the water that is used is thus left in a state of contamination by harmful compounds. The United Nations Environment Program, UNEP, estimates that the textile dyeing industry is solely responsible for 20% of the world's wastewater. Number 7. We are responsible for the disposal of 92 million tons of textile waste that the industry generates annually. 
Each year, customers throw away large numbers of fashion products. These things might range from clothes that no longer fit well, to items that are no longer considered fashionable, to outfits that have never even been put on. Only in the United States does an individual waste away around 37 kilograms, 81 pounds, of apparel on an annual basis on average. Because of this, an astounding 85% of the textiles that are manufactured in the country end up in landfills or are burned. Number 8. The lack of recycling and underutilization of clothing results in a loss of more than 500 billion U.S. dollars annually. Even though we are continually developing fresh and cutting-edge methods for recycling textiles, the amount of material that we collect and reuse is still insufficient. It is believed that less than 11% of fashion brands have recycling systems in place for the things they produce. The materials that are used in the manufacturing of clothing items are the primary contributor to the difficulty that is associated with recycling. Because the majority of them are manufactured with synthetic fibers that are derived from crude oil, it is next to impossible to reuse these materials in any other context. The sustainable and ethical fashion market is fortunately expanding at a quick rate offering options that manufacture clothing with more ecologically friendly materials that are grown and harvested in a sustainable way and that are produced with less resources and less harmful components. Fortunately, evidence shows that this sector is increasing rapidly. Number 9. Young women between the ages of 18 and 24 account for 80% of the workforce in the apparel industry. In addition to the negative effects on the natural environment, the practice of fast fashion also has a significant negative impact on society. The presence of low price tags is frequently an indication that there is a problem behind the scenes. All too frequently, the industry is linked to problematic issues such as child labor, the exploitation of workers, as well as violations of fundamental worker rights such as the absence of safety rules, low salaries, and excessively long working hours. Moreover, the industry is frequently blamed for violating basic worker rights. Brands of fast fashion put an emphasis on mass manufacturing and profit rather than on the well-being of their employees and customers. Some others even go so far as to call the fast fashion industry a modern type of slavery. According to a report published by the Department of Labor of the United States in 2018, there was evidence of forced labor and child labor in the fashion sector in Argentina, Bangladesh, Brazil, China, India, Indonesia, Philippines, Turkey, and Vietnam. Number 10. Approximately 59% of all the sustainable claims made by European fashion brands are both inaccurate and misleading. According to the findings of an analysis conducted in 2021 by the Changing Market Foundation, environmental claims made by fast fashion firms are, in the vast majority of cases, nothing more than a marketing technique. Even if the brand may have a sustainable clothing line, this does not necessarily mean that the brand is conscious of its impact on the environment. Greenwashing happens when businesses devote a disproportionate amount of their time and resources on marketing their sustainability goals rather than actually putting such plans into action. The world's largest fashion companies often disseminate false information in an effort to persuade their customers that they are ethical and to give the impression that they respect transparency. For example, they may educate customers about their emissions, but they fail to establish concrete goals for reducing those emissions. Well, that's it from this video. What do you think of these fast fashion facts? Do you think we will be able to cope with climate change as a result of fast fashion carbon emissions? Share your thoughts by commenting below. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and share this video with your friends to help spread awareness. Also, consider subscribing to our channel for more interesting videos every week.